Okay, you guys, this girly pop. Oh, welcome to a vlog, though. Hi. Oh, TV. <laughs> Oh, it's a rerun! Okay, this girly pop is hungry, and normally I have eggs and corned beef hash when I first wake up. I am going out with my mom today, and I think we're gonna go grab something to eat. I'm just feeling really good, so we're gonna keep it up, keep up the momentum, keep up the motivation. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people are like, oh my god, that cardigan does not fit her. I purposely like it hanging over like that. I think it's cute. That's just me. <laughs> it's cute that you think that. But then we we have like, <laughs> why am I explaining myself? So I'm not really a yogurt girly pop. I but I wanted to try this Oko's Triple Zero. It has 15 grams of protein. It's only 90 calories. It's in the flavor banana cream. It smells like yogurt. <laughs> what I don't like about yogurt is like that weird sour taste. Like it's just not for me. And I just... All right, so let's try it. Rarittles. She loves dairy products like yogurts, ice creams. You can't have this, my beautiful baby. <laughs> oh, that's a no. Mm-hmm. You know what would be good in this? Like just a couple mini chocolate uh, like chips or you know what I'm talking about. Like if you like yogurt and you like banana cream, you'll like this. But if you don't, then you're not gonna like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So we're currently in Target. Look how cute. I love that. That's a huge bitch. I'm feeling myself. I'm Hats are not for me at all. I'm currently trying to see if this necklace will even fit around my fat neck. I do like it to be shorter though, so it will. The next day. ASMR. Okay guys, so these are all the journals that I have. And I'm about to complete one, so it is time to choose another. But this is how I usually choose my journal when I'm just doing it by myself. So, so it's kind of like process of elimination here. And then the process will go on until I have one left. These are so sick together. Love. Let's look at the cute all set up. I bought this one like a year ago. Uh, this is one of the ones. All right, it looks like this one won. I've had this one forever. It just says be brilliant. Okay guys, so I'm worried about Twinkie. So I'm actually about to take her to the emergency vet. So last night I noticed she didn't want to eat her food. She barely wanted a treat. She's acting lethargic. Actually, we're about to take Twinkie to the vet because, and Twinkie is old, unfortunately. Even though she acts like a, a, a spry chicken. Like even minus all that, I can tell when something's wrong with her. Usually it's because she has really bad joints because she is a very small dog. She is older, so she takes medicine for it. So usually when that happens, it's just like, instead of her doing everything by herself, I'll like literally carry her. It's only 63 cents a day and you'll help rescue animals who are suffering. Do it in the next 10 minutes and we'll send you the photo of an animal from our shelter and a free ASPCA t-shirt. I just baby her more than usual, but I noticed, oh, it's actually not her joints this time. She's not limping. So what I do is I gently touch all over her body. I look around her body. A vet actually told me to do this years ago. So that's what I was doing, doing me and Twinkie were just like cuddling and it was like nothing on her body. Like she was fine. So then I looked more like in depth on her face. So like under her mouth, there's like a lot of swelling. But it's like in a way that you can only see it if you're like looking at it from like under. Like she didn't want me anywhere near it. So this could be anything, a tooth problem, but it could be a jaw problem. My brain goes to like, is it a tumor? So I'm gonna take her to the emergency vet. I'm very nervous and my mom's actually gonna take me. So I appreciate her so freaking much. <laughs> oh my God, she's scared. It's okay. Here, let me get her out. Literally back right out of it. Do you want me to get her? Do you wanna just come in? Will you just carry her in for me? Oh, Twinkie was scared. So my girlfriend is gonna uh, take her in. Twinkie usually doesn't get scared like that. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Okay, guys. So as soon as they saw Twinkie, they said, "I think it's an abscess." So the vet gave me the option to sedate her, and so they can do like a more thorough look. So here's Twinkie after being sedated. This was in the back of my mom's car. But the outcome is she has an abscess and she might have to get her tooth 
surgically removed. Now she's on antibiotics and a painkiller, but it is two days into the future. So hello, she is doing so much better. So tomorrow, which is Monday, I will be calling to make an appointment to get her teeth either surgically cleaned or she might have to have it removed. Some people don't deserve to own pets. One pair of pants later. So it is the next day after I just filmed that voiceover. Twinkie's doing so much better. Hi, baby girl. Yeah. There she is. Hi, baby. What you doing? You playing? Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, that's my girls. She's just resting right now because we just came back inside from going for a walk. Um, I had someone contact me today on Instagram saying like, are you okay? I heard there's tornadoes in Oklahoma right now. And I'm just like, um, I didn't know that there was and now I'm scared. It was sprinkling a little bit when we went out there, but I mean, the weather's fine, but Oklahoma is known for the tornadoes. So Amber! Amber! I gotta go, Julia. We got I also want to give an update on my little like weight loss challenge as you guys know i wanted to reach 450 so today is day seven and i weighed in at 493.6 so i'm going i'm trucking along i have not gone over my calories in a week which i haven't successfully counted calories like in a hot minute to be honest it's just so crazy for me because like i i'm not really that girly pop lately like I just really want to be aware of what I'm putting in my mouth and and I don't show progress when I allow myself to have those extra calories here and there and there and there. So it's just really good to stay under my goal because if I didn't do that, it's like a few hundred calories here, a couple hundred calories there. Like it all adds up in the I'm actually about to go make lunch right now. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm about to put some salmon in the air fryer. I'm also having Caesar salad. So it is a salad kit. So there is three servings in it. So for the salmon and for the salad, it is kind of high calorie. It's 700 calories, but okay. So while the salmon is cooking, I'm gonna make the salad. So, so first we have obviously the lettuce, and then we have the Caesar dressing. I'm gonna use these tongs. Next we have some Parmesan cheese. They give like crouton crumbles, which I think I prefer if I'm being honest, especially once this is all mixed together. And I do like to add some black pepper on top. Look how delicious that looks. All right, so here is my lunch, a salad and salmon. All right, so here is my lunch. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. Mm. This brand, I promise you, the best salad ever. It is cooked perfectly. Mm, 10 out of 10. The next day. All right, you guys, so I'm going to be weighing in. Hello, it's ready. 492.2 pounds. <gasps> 492.2! I just realized that it's 333 o'clock. That is a good sign. If you guys know, you know. So I'm 33, and that just seems like a really good number. Threes are very, very important in my family. So we're currently in my bathroom because I need to clean out this and it doesn't stop there wow my mom took a shower here like two months ago stayed the night so there's still some of her things in here actually recently got some new um like gentle floss plus you know what called out to me the color of this bag if you guys have super dry skin the cetaphil uh, moisturizing cream very to dry to dry sensitive skin also recommend this something that has greatly helped my hair recently is garnier fructi sleek and shine anti-frizz serum I literally want to almost get rid of my straightener so i'm not tempted i've actually had the straightener for easily a decade so i have a bunch of these little uh sampler like perfumes i know i have some like louis vuitton up in here so i usually use dry shampoo but i actually stopped using it about two weeks ago so i'm gonna throw this away so i got the top one all cleared out and then i was working on the bottom and realized one of my bath and body works leaked all right you guys so the bottom first still looks a little cluttered and this one is just like amazing now all right you guys i just rinsed some fresh green beans but i wanted to make some like asian inspired green beans so i'm about to do that i'm probably gonna have some rice and some salmon as well 
Okay, so I added soy sauce, minced garlic, sriracha, some pepper, and right now um, it's just in some water. Like I want them to be skinny, shriveled, flimsy, like that's my goal. So once I get there, if I need any oil, then I'll add some, but as of right now, like using water for this is totally fine. All right, you guys, so it is finished. I did add some sesame seeds to the top. Of and then of course my typical salmon that I love making in the air fryer. And then that is some rice that I cooked in my rice cooker.